as soon as i find a petrol pump i need to get a pollution test for my bike because it expired yesterday i don't think it will be open this early in the morning the pollution test will they do it here or no yeah it's closed <coughs> this is a train station i feel yes this is the train station beautiful trains man i i spoke to deepu the owner of the hotel where i stayed in he said that for 3 kilometers it costs around 1800 rupees i mean these are steam engines i know i know that it's very hard to maintain and keep them running but 800 1800 rupees for 3 kilometers that's damn too expensive man i mean if i experience everything in my life and this is one of the things which is left that i have to experience then i will definitely go i mean that's what people come also to do here because uh <laughs> they would told me that uh who are uh, takes this uh, train ride down uh, they tell that this is a joy ride for them they spend it once and they enjoy and they leave from darjeeling because it's not like daily it's a it's not a daily thing right you, and you won't find these steam engines and diesel engines of uh and from a i don't know how many years at least a 100 years maybe ago you will not find it anywhere it it had it has become so rare and people get that nostalgia feeling from old and days so you just feels like they are back into the olden days so they enjoy it and they leave it just one time spend spending money in for in their lifetime to get that experience there is paying for the experience more than the value for money proposition It's so cold man It's so 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 cold <laughs> i'm wearing three la- three four layers i'm wearing a inners i'm wearing a t-shirt i'm i'm wearing a shirt and on top of that i'm wearing this jacket but still i'm feeling cold ippudu maatram cheppe ga illa amma muchataga mura mura ammayilane 30 ammayilu kanapadarra minimum andarke na heart everyone deserves a heart everyone are beautiful i like everybody the girls the ladies here just wow 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 <laughs> whether they wear blue wow red wow magenta wow purple wow <laughs> because purple is really a dark color and everyone here are so bright and there is glow in their face so it just suits them okay i'll tell you what all i did yesterday the whole day to to matter of fact so yesterday was a day 3 and uh, i did not film anything <laughs> so i just wanted to enjoy have a nice time so yesterday i got up huh. yesterday i got up and first thing what i did was i had a bath can you imagine i had a bath oh see be sure that you are slow nice and easy on those uh, tracks man that road rails oh my god you have to be careful because it's it definitely slips because there is ice on top of that and it is melting now it's so slippery no matter the type of tires you have it definitely slips so if you are a mo- on a motorcycle please make sure that you are cutting that diagonally as diagonally as possible do not go along the track no that's a that's a huge mistake do not do that try to go as diagonal as possible try to go as perpendicular as possible to the tracks 
so that you will avoid that slippage like even if you break na so you will you will you will slip straight away and there is road in between those tracks and you will get some th- some grip and you will have minimum chances of falling oh. see <laughs> i don't know whether you, you can feel this in the camera or not but as soon as i go on top of the rails the tires are slipping and don't make a mistake of braking please <laughs> that's the last thing you should do couples enjoying ne kunda asalli kunda ra vaale endo enjoy cheskuntaro manike enduka vanni hey 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 blacky my fingers are frozen oh, oh nice color man purple purple on himalayan i'm seeing it for the first time oh my fingers they hurt <laughs> like i said before it it feels like someone is poking my fingers with needles that's how cold i'm feeling oh my god this see <laughs> bike ride is not that easy man people who are to whom ever i see na they, they say that oh biker rider you have bike they don't know the struggle they don't know what kind of difficulties uh, i i i feel i i feel uh, I, i mean i am sure this is the case with every other biker as well but still i'm i'm telling it for myself you you guys don't have an idea how difficult it is this is the kind of traffic you get every time because the roads are so narrow and people have parked their cars like this on side of the road it's it's pretty difficult for everyone to navigate man yeah this is how difficult it is man people don't understand when when these kind of hilly areas get stuck like this na it's so difficult you have to cross this areas as soon as possible this is where a lot of your time goes to be honest already this is an hilly area and you can't ride it hard because of the roads and you find these kind of uh, traffic when you hit a town or something so it gets pretty late it consumes a lot of time it takes it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of energy you are breathing heavy because of the altitude you get tired so that's the reason i took siliguri to darjeeling separately i stayed in siliguri i stayed in siliguri on day 1 and i did siliguri to darjeeling on day 2 because it took me 4 4 and a half 4 to 4 to 5 hours man from siliguri to darjeeling i left at 12 12:30 i reached my hotel at 6 can you, can you imagine so that's the kind of uh, road this is you can you cannot actually take any kind of risk i came at a speed of 30 40 this is the kind of speeds i did because i'm very new and i didn't want to take any kind of risks so that's the reason it took me for four and a half hours i mean if you are experienced in hill uh, hilly roads then you are most welcome to try out your luck so i'll tell you all the cost where i stayed the fuel expenses everything 
after reaching i'll make a separate video for that a small uh, motorblog for that uh, after reaching kolkata siliguri 68 kilometers okay